this is a case of robotic ISR and demonstrating the both positions. The patient is having a narrow abdomen. So this is the sternum and this is the mid clavicular line here and this is the ACIS. So if we draw a line from mid clavicular line to ACIS like this, our port should fall a little above on this line so that we get access to the perineum for the rectal surgery as well as the splenic mobilization this can be done by a single docking method so first we put a camera port one centimeter above the uh, umbilicus or just in this line and uh, in case of lap surgery you can give a four finger breadth margin but in case of robotic surgery eight centimeters margin is preferred and uh, this is a uh, uh, normal abdomen but in case of an insufflated abdomen though it is a narrow uh, abdomen you will get more space so here approximately if we see the working port comes here and second working port comes here if you see this port this is more important this should be one centimeter or one inch above the ACIS and one inch medial to the ACIS this should be the port and uh, coming to the lateral most port on the left side this will be again four centimeter four finger breadth here you should give at least one or two finger breadth uh, away from the intercostal line and you take this port here so this will be the camera port this will be the r1 r2 and r3 here and coming to the assistant ports we take the robo will be docked from the left side of the patient's body so the assistant will be sitting on the right side of the patient and this will be one assistant port for a 5 mm port and one for the 12 mm port if you see it has to form a proper triangulation and uh, at least five centimeters uh, away from the uh, main robotic arms so that they don't clash this triangulation is important so that they don't come in straight line and uh, collide with the robotic arms these are the four positions for the robotic rectal surgery